Hey, sneaky Eric's back today. Today we're back with MacPup 511, but this time it's on a stick. Yeah, it's installed to a USB stick, and I'm actually going to show you how to install it to another USB stick, because it's really simple, really quick, easy. First you go to Applications, and we scroll down, and you want to go to Setup, okay? Then we roll down a bit further until you come to the Puppy Universal Installer. And there it is, it comes up. You can install to lots of different media here, like USB hard drive, flash drive, hard drive internals, etc. Et but we've got flash drive. So click OK for your flash drive. Now find the USB flash drive you want it to go to. Now mine's SDG, because SDF is what I've already got it on. So SDG is the empty one. Now don't forget to format it first, by the way. But normally they're pre-formatted, so hey. So install to SDG1. Of course we wanted to install there. So all you basically do is click there. Right, now it's just making sure that you know what you want to do. And of course, yes, we'll do OK. Right, you will need to have your puppy CD in the drive for this because you need some of the files off it. So you click CD. OK, we're all ready to go. So last OK, yes, it's going to be in it's in my drive. I'm ready to rock and roll. Click OK again. So there we go. And you wait, and the old CD spins out a bit. And we wait a bit longer, and a bit longer. This is the longest bit you have to wait. Oh, here we are. Now, where it says default, do nothing, choose that. Just click OK. There is a ones there, but this default was fine for us. And this is the final sanity check to make sure you want to install it. So, of course, I want to install it onto my USB stick. And all you do is press Enter here. And a little thing come up. There we go. Shoom. Now, to wipe the drive, you press in the character and then Enter. But we don't want to wipe any drive, so we just want to click on Enter. So that's fine for us. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on Enter. And it will be a rocky rolly. There we go. And it's making the device bootable and copying some stuff over. Right now, if you've got more than 256 mega RAM, it will copy more stuff over to the USB drive. So that's good for us. So what we want to do with here is actually type in a character and then enter again. So we'll get more files copied over. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to type that in F and enter again. And off we go. Now, this is the long bit. Now, on this machine, it took about 30, 40 seconds, which is still quite long because I'm quite impatient at the moment. So we wait. And we wait, and don't make me wait, we wait, we wait, and we wait. And I'll get a bit bored, but basically you'll hear CD drive spinning, and your USB drive will be flashing away in the thing. So yeah, that's right. So, by the way, we are recording this on MacPup 511 from a stick as well, by the way. So the quality is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Oh, it's finished. Bloody hell, see that? All you do now is press Enter. Now that is it. So all you have to do now is take that stick out. Reboot the machine, make sure it's set to boot from a USB device, your new computer you're going to use it in or whatever, and off you go. You can boot it up and do whatever you wish to do so. It runs really nice and quick, get a persistent save file, a 4 gig stick is fine, it's really, really fine, so don't worry about it. So yeah, that's alright, isn't it? So, 5 out of 5, sneaky Linux out.